Hey guys, what is up and welcome back. Don't mind the hair. Um, we just got done with some ice skating lessons for Sydney and we are in the, she's listening to an audio book, um, the jungle book. Um, we are in the vicinity of an Aldi and it has been about five years since I've been to one because we don't live that close to one. Um, and I just forget that it's here. So I am very excited to do an Aldi grocery haul. I'm going to take you guys in the store with me, see what we can find for deals. Um, and I also asked you guys on Instagram yesterday to send me suggestions on what I should be looking for. And so I'm going to take your suggestions. Um, let's check out the prices. I am very excited to hopefully save some money, grab some snacks, maybe fresh fruits and vegetables as well, um, at a decent price. So come with us. All right, we gotta go get a cart. So this is the, yeah, go ahead. This is the part that I forgot last time. You, gotta use, you have to have a quarter to get a cart. Put it in there. I don't, that way you don't steal it. So that way you return the carts. Push it all the way in. And then, right? All the way in. There we go. And then when we bring the cart back, we'll get our quarter back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Run was telling me to get Benton snacks for Sydney. Strawberry looks, but I I would only want to try one to see if I would like it. Oh, okay. We do need toilet paper actually. Do we get? This is actually only five nineteen for twelve rolls. Let's tr let's try it. Give it a go. No, like we have carrots. Let's do some green beans. Couple avocados. We have a ton. Jesus. Okay, I don't know what these are, but just the name of it sounds amazing. Cheese wraps for you low carb folks. <laughs> They are so fast. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, Sydney worked up an appetite and she's already broken into a snack. Um, yeah, I always get so, I remember the last time I came here, I get so overwhelmed with how quickly these cashiers are. They're so fast and I'm like throwing it on the belt and they're throwing it in a cart and I'm like, I just feel so rushed even though it's fine, I can chill. I ended up spending $105 and we got a bunch of snacks, I think. I don't even remember what I got. I was just kind of throwing some things in the cart here and there. And some of the items I was like, oh yes, I remember reading someone 
suggesting that. So I threw it in the cart, but I will take you back home and we will do the Aldi grocery haul. Okay, so I am home. I have everything sprawled out on my stove and my counter. I'm gonna go ahead and share with you guys everything that I purchased from Aldi. And I will try also to put the individual prices on the screen. Um, I know that you guys like to see some prices. And since it's not the largest haul, I figured I would go ahead and do that for you. Okay, starting out with all of the cold items, frozen and refrigerated items. I have some steamable mixed veggies, corn, carrots, peas, and green beans. Just a nice little thing to have in the freezer for a side or like a really quick chicken pot pie. Um, this is something that it was just one of those, you know, on a whim purchases. It's chicken breast fillets, and I thought that these might be good as chicken sandwiches. I typically um, don't purchase things like this because I'm particular on my chicken, but I thought I would give it a try um, and maybe toss them in like honey barbecue sauce or do a buffalo sauce and do just a different type of, you know, sandwich lunch situation. Um, and maybe Sydney will like those as well. That would be nice. We love doing these like snack things from Sargento usually or uh, Target wherever and these have the sharp white cheddar dried cranberries and almonds and this one just has um, the yellow cheddar and then also uh, cashews instead um, and so those are a nice little snack I saw those and was very happy um, can't remember exactly how much those are but you know because you can see that on the screen right now I believe they're similar pricing wise to the Target ones if I can remember correctly correctly I think they were like the same price um this is something that I saw in the freezer case it's protein cinnamon french toast sticks I cannot stand french toast I don't know and I thought that would be like a nice little breakfast treat for Sydney once in a while to have some french toast sticks we will see if she likes those um but they do have you know a decent amount of protein I'm sure that will keep her full we have baby bell cheese, Sydney and I bowls. I try not to eat all of her baby bell cheese, but I do love them. Um, got some baby bell cheese and I got, they have a ton, you guys, of cheese selections. So many, um, I, but I didn't need any and I didn't want to waste or have things go bad, but I definitely highly recommend checking out Aldi for their cheeses. Um, I did get some crumbled feta. I might make like a Greek pasta salad or something. And so I grabbed some feta. And one of you guys suggested this street corn dip. You guys, I love street corn dip. I love Mexican dip and dipping tortilla chips in them. And so I had to go ahead and give this a try when I saw it. And it looks smooth. Like it's blended, it looks like. I'm not sure. I could be mistaken. Um, it has fire roasted corn, cilantro, red chili, spices, mayonnaise, sour cream, Monterey Jack cheese. I feel like I want to break into this right now. Even though it's close to dinner. So I'm probably going to save that. <laughs> um... But hopefully that's delicious. It sounds very, very good. I did not grab a ton of produce. I'm not going to lie. The produce, what was left of it, it, it wasn't fully stocked. What was left of it just was not the most appealing. Like, it didn't look the best. I'm not going to lie. But I am pretty particular with my produce anyway. And so maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. Um, but I did get some. We have a cucumber, some baby carrots for snacking. City enjoys baby carrots a ton lately with either hummus, ranch, or just even plain. I grabbed a bag of limes. I'm always using limes in avocado dip, avocado toast, always needing that or for cooking as well, like tacos and things. We saw the cotton candy grapes, and so Sydney wanted to try those. These were, um, I think they were like $4.99 or something. Um, and at my local grocery store, they're, I believe they're like eight, or maybe even more than that. So I went ahead and grabbed them when I saw the price. We have a couple of avocados as well. That's gonna do it for like produce. And last but not least for the refrigerated items, I grabbed a thing of biscuits. These are buttermilk biscuits and they were a really decent price. And so 
basically I only got them because they were inexpensive. <laughs> That's the only reason why I got those. Um, that is it for frozen and refrigerated items. I didn't go ham on it because we do have to travel, you know, a little ways. And so I didn't know how well some of the stuff would, would travel. Um, if there are things that I missed and you guys think that I should go get them, definitely let me know. So I saw these water drops, these water flavor drops, and they were intriguing to me. It's been a little while. I usually buy, well, I, I can't say usually, I never buy meal, but if I do buy a flavored water thing um it's usually the mio and so i thought i would give this a try it's grape flavored i'm terrible at drinking regular water i like my seltzer um so i don't know hopefully that's delicious and it intrigues me and it makes it so that i drink more regular water we will see and they had a bunch of different flavors as well so moving on to a bunch of snacks um i or actually we'll do pasta but then a bunch of snacks afterwards um i have just linguine nothing special just linguine i realized the other day i went to go make spaghetti and i was out i know this is not spaghetti linguine anyway um moving on to snacks we have some roast roasted unsalted cashews these tortilla chips i specifically got so that i can pair the street corn dip with them um multi-grain tortilla chips they did have a bunch of yummy sounding ones they had like the blue corn ones that i almost grabbed but i didn't need it so many bags of them uh sydney wanted some cinnamon applesauce cups for school snacks she was really craving animal crackers when she saw them and she's actually already broken into them. She's eating them on the couch right now. So some animal crackers. Many, many of you guys suggested the Benton's um, snacks. They had many different, like, you know, the alphabet shortbread cookies. They had many different pouches of kids' snacks. And we have some chewy chocolate chip granola bars. And then some cauliflower cheddar flavored crackers. Again, just all of the snacks can never have too many on hand. <laughs> I never have movie theater popcorn on hand because I don't like popcorn, but Sydney does. And she likes having a movie night once in a while and having like a special occasion, um, you know, having some movie popcorn. We have goldfish that she already broke into in the car, the flavor blasted extra cheddar goldfish. And then I just grabbed this on a whim, baked uh chips so ba basically like a big delays uh dupe um i don't know hopefully those are good i also grabbed this hazelnut spread thinking it sounds like nutella we will see um sometimes i i remember from my last trip at aldi some of the you know their like knockoff ones were not the most flavorful but this i mean i feel like how could you go wrong it sounds delicious the ingredients are the same so hopefully it is and the price was good too and then i also randomly grabbed a four cheese risotto pouch i thought that would be a nice side dish i love love risotto and so i thought that was just an easy convenient side dish to have some night soon and then i have just a couple of canned veggies we have canned green beans canned uh carrots and as well as some canned sweet corn. I remember last time I grabbed a bunch of like canned tomato stuff. I didn't need any this time, but they have a ton of canned items and spices. Um, vanilla was very inexpensive, but like I said, I didn't need any of it. I was, I'm fully stocked. Um, but if you're looking for baked baking items, all of theirs were very inexpensive compared to other stores um i did see they had just this flavor but i tried it the other day and it was so good the cherry twist alani it's like a cherry limeade type of situation so i grabbed two of those they're uh, about the same price as my local stores but i got them because they are delicious one of you guys messaged and said that i needed to try this pizza the non-frozen pizza it is ginormous <laughs> It is absolutely humongous, but it was only 680 something. Um, so I had to give it a try. These are the buns that I got. They didn't have a whole lot of uh, buns for like sandwiches, but these are the buns that I got for making those crispy chicken sandwiches. And so they're brioche buns, slightly sweeter. I love a good brioche bun. And um, actually maybe that will be dinner. I don't know. Now I can't decide what to make, but I did get those. 
and then the last couple of items so i know i mentioned i love seltzer so i grabbed this one it is cherry lime again with the cherry limeade i'm kind of on a cherry limeade flavor kick um and so i have eight cans of flavored seltzer and then i needed toilet paper random thing but yeah i did and so maybe this is like an angel soft is it called angel soft knockoff brand yeah so all right guys so that is going to do it for my aldi haul i'm going to go ahead and put all of the groceries away i hope you guys enjoyed this little peek into a different grocery store i'm typically doing like a trader joe's grocery haul or just a regular hannaford one where i shop typically um so it's kind of nice to shop somewhere else see what they have see what their prices are uh, for options of course it's mostly budget friendly which is so nice nowadays um, to have that option um, but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you on tuesday with another video bye